Cloud Retainer has been a character introduced into Genshin Impact since 1.0, over three years ago. She stayed in the clouds until she finally came down to Earth as Zhenyun, the Animo Catalyst user. Many believe that she needs to actually go back into the clouds again. And bless us with holy light! Because her kit, well, it leaves a lot to be desired. I'll be discussing some key points with Cloud Retainer's role and also some redeeming qualities that she may have. Any information discussed about Jianyun in this video is based on my opinion and is purely for speculative and entertainment purposes. This is also very early, and keep that in mind, a lot can and probably will change. Please keep that in mind for the duration of the video. So, Zhenyun is an Animal Catalyst user. Her elemental skill is three jumps in the air that have to be used back to back, followed by a tactical nuke of animal damage. The thing about this elemental skill is that there's zero interruption resistance, which can be very frustrating to use unless you have a shielder. At any moment, if you're hit, you will get knocked out of the air and fall to the ground. This is especially worse if you happen to cast the skill and get hit, because not only have you lost your cast, you've also lost any energy that you would have gained. This can be very detrimental to the energy production of the team. The skill also doesn't have as much mobility as you'd expect from a literal bird. It's very finicky to use and maneuver, and you cannot use it in air like Shao skill. Think of it like Shao skill with three charges that you have to use back to back with no control, and you go up instead of forward. The good thing about her elemental skill is that when it does land, it will produce quite a bit of energy. With all three casts used and the tactical nuke that I mentioned, you will get an Aika's E worth of energy. Another concern is that it does take quite a while for her to actually get off the entire skill, and it can slow down your rotations. I'll use Kazaha as an example to see how long she's actually in the air with the skill. Now, let's discuss her burst. It will create a field that will allow you or any character to function like Xiao. Plunge Bam. It will also do a mass heal similar to Jean at the start of the burst and then heal a bit more at each interval afterwards. It's very similar to Jean's burst except it will follow you. In addition, whenever you do a plunge attack, it will deal a bit of area of effect animal damage. So in case you're wondering, yeah. It's very similar to Jean. The only difference is that you are able to plunge and you won't be restricted to the circle. But there is another major difference. She'll be buffing plunge damage, and by a significant margin. This opens up a new playstyle, but it won't really outdo the current teams. The only characters that can really take advantage of this is Xiao. Or so I thought. Until you realize it only affects a single target at a time. Xiao is known as the Area of Effect King. It's where he reigns supreme. The fact that this only buffs the damage for one target on each plunge is ludicrous. This really makes Yan Yun nothing but a side grade for Xiao. I mean, Xiao isn't exactly known as a boss killer. I mean, he can be, but you don't see a single target boss standing there and stay. LAMENT! Well, to be honest, I do, but my Xiao is kinda cracked, so... The other major downside is that the residual animal damage from her burst only works on plunges, and it will only affect about 8 plunges in the rotation. So that means that for characters that actually do not want to use a plunge and would rather play the normal way with Cloud Retainer in the team, they won't really be getting the full benefits of her burst. Which means, if she has the Viridescent set, you'll only get the Animo Shred at the beginning of the burst and nothing after, unless you're constantly plunging. If you made it this far in the video, then you've got to be enjoying the video, right? I'd appreciate a like on this video, and also consider subscribing if you enjoy my content, continuing onwards and upwards. So let's chalk up the results. As it currently stands, Cloud Retainer is just a side grade to Jean. She doesn't really boost damage that well for all characters, and you have to do Plunge Bam to get the most benefit from her. Her skill is kind of dysfunctional, and you have to be careful not to waste an E by getting hit in midair. Now, she will work fine as it stands. However, despite these issues, she will still be a good unit at the end of the day. Just nothing special. 
For those who want to try new wacky teams like Hu Tao Charge Plunge, then you have Cloud Retainer to help with that. She is also another healer to pair with Farina, and if you don't want to use Sunflyer with Jean and Bennett, then you could do Cloud Retainer and Bennett. Sadly, the animal damage from a burst requires a plunge, so characters like Child, Dia, etc., they're not going to gain much benefits from it. Unless, of course, you're using Dia in Bennett's burst or something, then that could work. I'm hoping things can change for her, and she can get 100% interruption resistance with her E cast, and that her plunge affects all enemies for the damage buff. Because there's no point of buffing it against one enemy when area of effect is the main target for plunge attacks, and especially for Xiao. Compared to Sunfire comps with Jean, the Sunfires may actually contribute more damage at the end of the day as well. So. This is my full analysis on the reality of Cloud Retainer at the moment. If you have been waiting for her for a while, don't let anything said here dissuade you from pulling for her. This is really a video for those who are on the fence to pull her. If you don't care about the meta or abyss clears, then she will be amazing for you. Otherwise, she will be a good side grade. At the end of the day, one thing is certain. Xianyun is hot. Case closed. Still here? Great. Only about 1.8% of you guys are actually subscribed. That's kinda crazy, right? I'd appreciate it if we can get that to 2%. It's a win-win for the both of us, so just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Until next time, Enigma, out.